Hey, I'm Sam. Welcome to Light Eye, where we empower light ideas. Visible light is typically measured with a single metric. You know, foot candles or lux. But when it comes to non-visible light that eliminates germs, an effective dosage is measured by a sufficient quantity of light along with a minimum time period. Eliminating germs in the air or on surfaces is possible, but there are a few things to consider. Let's go take a look. Bacteria are single cell organisms, while viruses are genetic material wrapped inside of a protein. Viruses need another cell structure to reproduce, which means they simply can't live on their own. Rather, they have to live inside of something. Everywhere you go, germs are lurking. They range in size, but typically are just a few micrometers, which not only lets them live in abundance on surfaces, but they can also be airborne for anywhere from a few minutes to believe it or not, a couple hours. That's why you wash your hands before you touch your face or your computer or even your food. There are two known lighting solutions to combat germs. One is visible and the other one is not. Let's talk about the one that's not visible. UVC light because it's powerful and can act fast. Within the UVC band is germicidal ultraviolet light, radiant energy that's not visible, but has the ability to eliminate germs. We know what UVA and UVB can do to your skin if you're exposed to it too long. Take note that eight hour dosage of UVC that's tolerable is equivalent to about 10 minutes in the sunshine with no skin protection. UVC technology has been around for over 60 years. Research shows that it has the ability to inactivate a virus, effectively eliminating germs. In order to do this, the proper dosage has to be applied, which requires a specific quantity of light to be present for a minimum period of time. Some UV systems have the ability to eliminate germs in as little as 30 seconds. Remember, UVC travels in the form of a wave, a light wave. So anywhere that's in shadow will not be exposed or treated. Here is the good stuff. The peak germicidal wavelengths in the UVC spectrum are 265 to 270 nanometers. A study that measured the effectiveness of UVC treating E. coli showed that wavelengths outside of the spectrum are exponentially less effective. Light at 254 nanometers was 85% as effective, whereas light at 313 nanometers was only 1% as effective. UVC sources are limited when it comes to form factor. The most common one resembling a fluorescent lamp, except it's clear and has electrodes on either end to ignite the argon gas inside of it, which emits a narrow band of UV light highly concentrated around 254 nanometers. While today, preliminary studies suggest that LEDs can be manufactured to emit UVC radiant energy, this technology is still in the early stages. Airborne disinfection systems typically utilize luminaires in an indirect application. It's important to note that a sufficient amount of air changes per hour happen. Typically, surface-based systems have been deployed in hospitals and on airplanes. But who knows, the next idea might be yours. With a storied history and proven ability to be effective, germicidal ultraviolet light systems that utilize UVC lamps have the ability to keep air and surfaces germ-free. So do me a favor, share your ideas with me and the entire community. If you want to learn about some solutions that can be deployed to help your designs, head over to Cooper Lighting Solutions and check out what they're doing with the patented technology from Signify. And remember, UVC is not good for your skin. So always wash your hands. I'll see you soon.